Hi, my name is Danielle Martin, and I'm a senior at Impact Academy of Arts and Technology. In this video, I will be talking about my process, my progress, and my feelings towards CSP. Since CSP has been moved virtually, I feel the weight lifted off of my shoulders just a little bit. The pressure is still there. And the way that I will be approaching the CSP is the same energy as if I were to present it in person in classroom. In my opinion, I don't think there is anything negative about the changes of the requirements because now the requirements have been changed and I feel like students can have that trigger in their mind that they can do this and that it is possible for them to finish CSP. What I also like about the requirement change of CSP is that students can talk about the pandemic. The pandemic is affecting everybody's lives in different ways. So if students choose to present about the pandemic, the audience gets to see how the pandemic has been affecting that particular student. So this is something that helps me figure out what I'm going to do for CSP. It's just a little organization chart and I brainstorm and I write what I really wanna talk about in my pandemic slides. Here's a sneak peek of what my CSP slides are going to look like and how do I build them. So on the left side I have my benchmark slides and I use this sometimes to build off of to create my CSP slides. So what I mean by that is we they're both title pages right now. This is my agenda and on my CSP is the agenda. Then on my third slide is the about me and on my third slide also in my benchmark. So you get the gist of it. And it also just has the same placements of things like the thesis and I also need to remember what I need to do to put in the slides for the artifact because when you put the artifact in the slides you need to state the competency, the essential question, context, content, and the, the leadership skills that I used and the evidence. So I just use this to build off of to create my CSP slides. And now that the requirements have changed, this is a little bit easier for me to do. But now all I need to do once again is just plug in the missing pieces of my CSP slides. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.